You are now able to try out all the features announced in Minecraft Live for the Minecraft 1.20 update. However, the way that these features are beta tested is a bit different now, and as well as that, there's some major Minecraft news regarding new updates in the future. So I'll cover all of that right now. So the first thing is, is that the way that Mojang is releasing updates is going to change. That's right, basically we are going to have a 1.19.3 update, even though usually the way that Mojang would release updates it would just eventually go over to 1.20. They're saying they're now going to start releasing multiple minor versions per year, including content and improvements that they think are ready to ship. More or less, this is also going to include major versions, but the idea is we'll get one major version per year. So for instance, 1.20 will come out in 2023, and 1.21 will come out in 2024. However, for these minor versions, let's say 1.19.3 or 0.4 that could be coming in the future, They'll just have small amounts of content as well as bug fixes, as previously these minor updates like this would only ever have small bug fixes and maybe just incredibly tiny features. But now we'll actually get more content releases and small quality of life changes throughout these minor versions. So for instance, we may get the new Bamboo Wood set in a 1.19 dot version, so maybe 1.19.3 or 0.4, or even just some small upgrades to the game. And this is definitely something I've been wanting Mojo to do for a long time, as I think there's a massive amount of small features that need to be tweaked to really improve the game overall, and I think this change will not only give us more content, but will also have that massive and exciting new major version every year. Now as well as that, the way that you test new Minecraft features has changed, and I'll walk you through how to get the new snapshots, and the reason why is that Minecraft Snapshot 22W42A has come out, and this includes all the new features that were talked about in Minecraft live. But the big question is, how will you download this if it's not the standard way? Well, the first part of this is the same. You're going to want to go over to installations and make sure that snapshots is checked over here. Then press new installation, click on this version, and click one down to latest snapshot. You can name the installation if you want. Make sure to allocate some RAM to this, as two gigabytes isn't usually enough. So I generally suggest allocating about a third to as half as much RAM as your computer has. So let's say your computer has eight gigabytes of RAM, you could allocate four. Then press create, and you can just scroll down to the bottom of the installations page, and click play on that unnamed installation and load up. And once you've played it once, then it'll appear at the top of your installations page when you're just on that drop-down menu. Then you want to go over to single player and create new world. And of course, you can name this whatever you want. And you can put it, of course, in creative or survival, but I would generally suggest creative for these tests. You want to go down to this data packs button, click this. And this is the new content toggles feature. Basically, when you're in these snapshots, there'll be these available experimental features. So for instance, they've now migrated bundles to this page, you may as well add those in, but that's not needed. What you want to do is press this arrow right here with the update 1.20, and that'll go over to the selected data packs. And then once you've done that, press done and then press proceed. As they're telling you that you're now working with features that are still under development, press proceed there and then press create new world. And again, it's gonna tell you one more time this is an experimental feature. Now, unfortunately, with this new system, there's not actually a way to have existing worlds be using these features. So just be aware of that as before with snapshots you could, but we are now in that update and more or less you're playing 1.20. Now, of course, there's a lot of different changes to this, and I won't go over all of them in this video, as I'll cover that later. But if you take a look, not only is the creative inventory reorganized, but also, let's say, if we look up camels, there is a camel spawn egg. Or if we look up bamboo, there are all the different new items of the bamboo wood set, including, let's say, the raft. And so you now have this awesome update at your fingertips, including all these new items that come with it. And I'll be sure to cover everything here in more detail in a separate video. But have fun playtesting. 1.20 and it'll be really exciting to see how many new updates we get between now and 1.20 with small quality of life features that the game has definitely been needing for a long time.